at A. Smith Bowman today at the Virginia Craft Distillers Roadshow. Uh, just tasted some stuff from Belle Isle Moonshine right there. Uh, they're downtown Richmond, really close to us. Um, so we're just here today, me and the wife, um, just tasting some good bourbons and some whiskeys and some moonshine. So there's a bunch of people here. Belmont Farms is here. Uh, I see Ironclad over there. Um, so we're going to walk around and see what's here. We're here at Three Brothers right now. This is our whiskey, uh, Blue Carousel and Lemonade. Cool. Let's try that. You want to try that? Yes, please. Uh, Silver Ball Pigeon. Working around to mark them up as well. Thank you. you, sir? Oh. Which one are you? Basically, we tasted. So we got our 80, our 92 distillers, and our Casper. Yeah, the Casper and the brandy are typically only sold at the distillers. <laughs> gotta have the Casper. Yeah, I got you, man. There you are. Sorry, I think I splashed you. That's alright. I'll lick that off. <laughs> Waste not, what not. That's what I was taught as a kid. So about one out of every hundred barrels become that cask right there. Um, Becky Harris, our master distiller, goes through to taste each barrel. That's she good. finds one that is everything she wants on a ride to be. So in. basically, it's just like the best, the, the one percent, the top one percent. It's the honey barrels. Yeah, absolutely. It smells yeah. good. Yeah. And as far as the sweetness and the richness of the flavor, the way I describe the uh, progression <laughs> there is like honeysuckle, honey, molasses. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. Love that rock. I'm gonna have to take a bottle of that one home with me. The Casper? Yeah. We got My other one's almost empty. Actually, 11 bottles with us now. Yeah. My other one's almost empty, so I'm gonna yeah. have to get another one. I hear you, man. That one, that's a special for There was not enough of that in the world to make me happy. <laughs> Love it. Here we are at Ironclad. Is the, the winery cast that just came out, didn't it? These are only Yeah, I, w I wasn't able to taste that one last time. I think I was still about a month away from it coming out. This is the small batch, minimum one year. Mark the Yep. Yeah, that's what I want. That's good. This is the maple syrup. What? Toasted coffee. Oh, we're back. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. good. Thank you. New from Ironclad. They're finished in wine barrels. Really good. And this is Vita Spirits from Charlottesville. Of course, we just finished with Bare Knuckle, KO Distilling back there, and also Kaisel. Now we're here at Vita Spirits. Road show, that's her favorite drink now. Yeah, you guys did good. <laughs> Wife's getting a painkiller. You. you know what? I'll take one too. This is the flagship of the Sierra Club Blum. Design kind of sits in between rum and whiskey milk. No still in the caramel added to it. It's an average of seven years old. And there's two cash finished versions of it. So the first cash finished version of it, which is one of the leather, tobacco, and camp marinade. And then the Pedro Jimenez Sherry cash finish, which is more clearly Pedro Jimenez Oxide Sherry's dry fruit. And there's a gin as well. 
uh, which is super dry. Um, technically speaking, a lemon dry, uh, but the dominant flavor profile is not citrus or floral uh, elements. It's spicy, it's too orangey, it's such a pepper corn. So that's what we got. You want to try one of the cast drink? Yeah. Sherry cast? Yeah. Getting ready to go get some barbecue from the barbecue truck. It's got to be good if it comes off a truck. Barbecue off a truck. All right, I need some more blood orange. Blood orange? Yes. This stuff is awesome. Back to more rye. So far, it's the best rye here. I appreciate it. That's saying something because I really like the Tackett Creek rye. I, I haven't got to go around yet, but we'll, we'll see. Yeah, they do a cast strength that's pretty good. What's the proof on this one? 88. 88? Okay. How, how did you get to 88? What we've got is the distinct, you know, between the taste profile and how we age, you know, we've got the hours that you're comfortable with. Okay. Well, it's definitely a good number. Did you try any other proof to see how it was? I tried it at, at different, many different proofs. Taste profile. Yeah, it's got a nice pepper bite. I like that. All right, just got back from A. Smith Bowman Distilling Company. Uh, they were hosting the Virginia Spirits Roadshow. So the wife and I went up there and had a great time. Took a tour of the facility. Um, they got some really cool stuff going on there. Um, so just wanted to show you what I picked up. Because um, I get, I try to get something different every time, something that that kind of stands out. And uh, um, this is what I got. First off, over on the right, JT Rye, uh, the young son. This is his first attempt at doing it on his own. Um, still at Belmont Farm Distillery, but um, this is his first rye. Came out really good, uh, of course. Mary Hype Bowman, Caramel Bourbon Cream. Uh, that's, man, that stuff's good. Uh, Platinum Rum from Vita Spirits. Um, they make a drink uh, called Painkiller, and they use this Platinum Rum in it, and my wife likes that, so we got that. Belle Isle Blood Orange Moonshine. Man, they're making some really good mixes there, and uh, this is one of my favorites. And of course, Catoctin Creek. This is their cast proof rye whiskey. Um, and I got another bottle up there. Um, so now I don't feel so bad about opening that bottle. And last time I was there, I got the golden rum from Fighter Spirits, which is really good too. And so this is what I picked up uh, at this month's uh, Spirits Roadshow here in uh, Virginia.